Saturday night, the Golden Hurricane looking to get their first win of the year. It's the home opener against Louisiana. Find out what happens next on the Philip Montgomery Show. The Philip Montgomery Show, brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by Riversbury Casino, by Pepsi, and by Bill Knight Ford. Now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Philip Montgomery Show. I'm Bruce Howard. The Hurricane looking to get to one and one on the year, taking on Louisiana in the home opener, and it was a success, and what an offensive show as Tulsa wins 66-42. In a moment, we'll be back with the lead up to the game and then first half highlights. That's on the Philip Montgomery Show. In the all-time series between the University of Tulsa and Louisiana, Louisiana led 5-4, but Tulsa had won the last two, and the two teams had not played since 1992. Let's get the lead up to the game, and then first half highlights by broadcast partner Rick Corey and head coach Philip Montgomery. Gentlemen? All right, thanks, Bruce. All right, coach coming in here. You had an extra day to prepare, and that really helps make ever sure everybody's healed. What was the attitude like? Attitude was good. I mean, we, we got back uh, Friday, kind of cleaned some things up, watched the tape, went over that, gave them Saturday off. You know, our schedule was laid out. We got nine straight games, right. and we were able to kind of steal a day in there. So uh, giving the guys a chance to kind of bounce back a little bit, get fresh, uh, get that game over with, and then Sunday we come back and we started right on Louisiana and uh, needed every second of it, obviously. Tight game, good football team, and uh, Coach Huspin and his staff do a great job. Coming in, you knew they could score because they did last yeah. week with 51 points. What kind of things did they do that concerned you? Well, I mean, they did a nice job of kind of staying balanced in what they did. Uh, we thought they were pretty good or really good up front. They had big guys that could really move. All their pin pull stuff was pretty tough on us. And so we knew we had to fit some things right. Um, and then they're keeping you honest. They got some guys on the outside that can really run and the quarterback throws a nice ball. So. Uh, we knew we needed to get them in predictable situation, get them in those long yardage situations, and then we got to convert in that. Yeah. Well, if you like pinball with people, stay tuned. That's what you're going to see, a little bit of that. First half action, Tulsa and Louisiana. Here's the angled run up. He sweeps his right foot across in a high end over end kick to the far side and out of bounds. Well out of bounds. Yeah, by about 10 yards for Chad President as he operates out of the shotgun three-man front for Louisiana. Here's the snap. President back to pass, throws on a slant, caught by Johnson. Johnson noses his way in the right hash mark across the 40-yard line to the 40 Five to Hobbs and Carter near side right. Two receivers far side left. Here's the snap and the handoff. Brewer off the right side has a good block in front of him by Tyler Bowling. And he's able to dive to the 45-yard line. And Stewart far side left out of the shotgun president standing at the 41 and the handoff up the middle brewer has a first down to the 30 dives to the 29 yard line great hole a 46 yard field goal attempt just to the right of center if he hits it it would tie his career high snap back the ball down here's the kick on the way plenty of distance and it is good at their 17 out of the shotgun president has the snap and now hands it off brewer on the right side he's able to sneak through a hole but then he gets tackled at the 19 yard line at hobbs and johnson out of the shotgun, President has the snap, throws near side, caught by Hobbs, breaks a tackle, gets the first down, 25-30, 34-yard line, still struggling forward to the 36. 14-yard gain by Hobbs. That was uh, Jeremy Parker, who was very loud. Here's the uh, carry up the middle. It's Gone. broken free, 45-40, 35-30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, D'Angelo Brewer. So, um, yeah, Coach signaled in um, a power run play, and... Once I looked, the linebacker started shifting over to send a smash blitz off the edge, and I already knew it was going to hit right out there off yours and Willie, and I was just expecting it. And once the hole opened up, I just burst it. 
First down and 10 for the Golden Hurricane at the 48 of Louisiana. And again, the four-man front with Dillon with his hand on the ground, the linebacker, and the handoff left side. Taylor around the corner inside the numbers to the 45 to the 41. He gets eight on the play. Second down and six for TU from the 30-yard line. Fake handoff, a quick flip throw to the right side, right in the slot, caught by Johnson, struggling to break a tackle. He dives forward at the numbers to the 21 and has the first down for Tulsa. 11th play of the drive here, second and 10. Fake handoff, President off the left. Left side, dives up the middle and then and is kind of scrambles and then slides down at the 16. Inside the five, four and a half yard line, second down and three and a half for the Golden Hurricane. Handoff, fake handoff, and now going to the left, it's President. President dives toward the end zone. He's in for a touchdown for the Golden Hurricane. President with the fake handoff, and he rolled to the left side on the read option, and he dives in there cartwheeling. He got spun sideways as he got it across. In first down and 10. And the handoff goes up the middle, and good hole for Corey Taylor trying to break a tackle, spinning forward right hash mark at the 35, 38, 39 yard line. So it's second down and 10 at the 42 yard line. Here's the snap, fake handoff, quick flip throw to the left side, and it's Johnson around the corner, 50, 45, 40, near boundary, 35, 30, 25, 21 man to beat, and that man knocks him out of bounds at the 10 yard line. A terrific play by the Golden Hurricane, Keenan Johnson. The play ended up going 48 yards. And yeah, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We, uh, <clears throat> second down, a goal from the five. Handoff left side. Corey Taylor dances into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa. Corey Taylor on a four-yard touchdown jaunt. And the Golden Hurricane retaking the lead, 23-17. Corey Taylor is the tailback is the running back for TU, and he gets the carry up the middle, wedging to the right to the 30, and he's able to burst forward just inside the right hash mark to the 31 is Corey Turner with a minute and 45 seconds to go in the half. Here's the snap, fake handoff, back to pass president, looks over the middle, throws over the middle, and a call, a leaping catch at the 35 by Hobbs. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Tulsa. Hobbs out battled the defender, came up with a perfect pass, throw, catch. I saw them, uh, the safety was down on Hobbs, and... Uh, you know, he got a good release off the ball, so I just tried to put it up where he can only get it. He made a tremendous catch, O-line protected well, and I just tried to put it where he can get it, and he made a tremendous catch and got a touchdown. At the 31-yard line of Tulsa, President out of the shotgun, first down and 10. Fake handoff, runs it himself off the right side to the 30, far boundary to the 35, and then out of bounds at the 37, 38 maybe, maybe where they take a shot. Here's the snap, no, the handoff goes to Brewer up the middle, 40, 45, 50, breaks free. He gets it to the 45, the 40, one man to beat, cuts inside, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and scrambling down to the two-yard line, caught from behind on the play, 61-yard gain, Koa. Haynes was able to trip him up from behind at the end. Corey Taylor to his left as President takes the snap and the handoff. Taylor burrowing forward close, and he is in for a touchdown. Corey Taylor, one-yard touchdown plunge with six seconds to go in the half. So with that late in the first half touchdown, the Golden Hurricane leading 38-23 at halftime. Second half highlights coming up next on the Philip Montgomery Show. Well, it was a wild first half, a lot of offense, and that wouldn't really change in the second half. TU leading at halftime, 38-23, and let's get halftime adjustments and second half highlights. Here's Rick Corey and head coach Philip Montgomery. So, coach, great, great, great momentum coming in after uh, right before the half. What, what are you talking to your guys about other than let's go play again? Well, I mean, we wanted to get back on the field as fast as we could. Anytime you're grabbing momentum right there at the end of the half, we'd honestly rather stay on the field and keep going. Um, but we got to do a better job of coming back out in the second half and establishing some things and creating that momentum again. Uh, but really big play by our defense and then the two quick scores in there uh, were really huge for us. So what went really well in the first half, you think? Well, I, I thought our offensive line really took over the game, them and Minner, and, and we ran the ball effectively. Uh, we were able to hit a couple of explosive plays in there as well. And uh, so we were kind of keeping them off balance a little bit with that. Uh, but obviously the number one thing was what those guys up front did in Brewer and, and being able to, to really run the rock. Yeah, speaking of Brewer, D'Angelo came into this game needing 212 yards to pass four guys on the all-time charts for TU rushing. Watch the second half. He's going to pass all four. Here's the second half, Tulsa and the Cajuns. Brewer in the ball game, 181 yards and a touchdown. He gets the handoff off the left side around the corner, 25-30, and gets yanked out of bounds at the 33. President waits the snap, has it, fake handoff, back to pass. President throws, right side, caught. John 
Johnson, 45-yard line, slips one man, gets it to the 50, and burrowing forward right numbers to the 48. Yep, ball at the 49, first down and 10, and they snap the ball uh, directly to President. President around the left corner on a keeper, 50, 45, 40, down to the 35-yard line. Ball at the 34-yard uh, line, and Tulsa's like, shush, let's run a play. Up the middle, Brewer with the handoff. He gets it to the 30, to the 25, down to the 23-yard line, a gain of 11. Chad President on third down and long. Here's the snap. President back to pass. Here comes a blitz. He runs it up the middle. And now at the last second, throws the ball and a juggling catch. What a catch by Hobbs. Right over the middle at the 13. But first and goal at the half yard line for TU. Here's the snap. Handoff. Brewer up the middle. Plunges forward. Touchdown, Tulsa. It's a one yard touchdown run by D'Angelo Brewer. And to his left is Regus. Here's the snap and a fake handoff. Ray takes it himself and it gets dragged down at the 34-yard line. Diamond Cannon made the play, a loss of four on the play. Much more efficient than last week when he was only 12 of 23. Here's the snap, Davis back to pass. The pocket was floating and collapsing. And a throw over the middle is intercepted by TU and that's gonna be Edmiston. Edmiston with the interception for TU. There. Right at the end of the third quarter, here's the snap. President, back to pass, loads of time, rolls to the left, now runs to the right, throws over the middle, caught by Stewart, 45, 50, 45, angles to the right, to the numbers, to the 40, 35, far boundary, 30, to the 26-yard line. Josh Stewart got that pass over the middle on the ad-lib play by Chad President, and it was almost like Josh Stewart was startled that he was so wide open. First and 10. At the 28-yard line, handoff off the right side, Shamari Brooks. Brooks, he cuts back at the 25 to the 20, breaks another tackle at the 15 and bounces down to the 10-yard line. President out of the shotgun, hands it off. It's Brooks up the middle, diving, breaking a tackle, lunging, and scoring. Touchdown. Shamari Brooks with his first touchdown, the freshman from Union High School. Out of the shotgun, President hands it off to Brewer. Brewer up the middle, angling to the left after he got hit. Straight up the middle, gets it to the 32, and that's a first down for TU. Here comes the hurricane, but they need to convert this third down. And the handoff goes to Brew up the middle, angling to the right, has the first down, charging to the 20-yard line. Letting the clock run a little bit, just a run clock with the lead. Here's the handoff right side, Brewer around the corner, 15 to the 10, down to the five, diving to the four. D'Angelo Brewer will probably use two plays to do it if they have to. Here's the snap and the handoff. Brewer into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa. D'Angelo Brewer with another TD, his third of the game. It's a one-yard plunge. Uh, but, that's, but that's really about it. Here's the snap and the handoff. Goes up the middle, angling to the right. Brooks around the corner, 35 to the 30. He breaks a tackle and spins at the numbers down to the 25-yard line. And a touchdown, no interceptions. Here's the snap and the handoff goes left side. Brooks around a man, he breaks a tackle, gets around the corner, cuts it up at the 25 and gets into the 20. And that is as exciting a five yard run as you'll ever see some of that run. And here's the snap on fourth down. Brooks up the middle, has the first down, breaking a tackle down to the 10. Left hash mark, he has a first down on a gain of six. They lead it 59-42 with less than a minute to play. Here's the snap, fake handoff. President takes it himself off the left side and walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa. After handing to Shamari Brooks time after time after time, you perhaps wondered when it would be that Chad President would keep it. So the final 66-42, holy cow, 66 <laughs> points, and you had almost 700 yards of offense. That's yeah. mind boggling. What went really well there offensively? Well, I, you know, we got in a good rhythm. Uh, our offensive line was playing so well, and, and uh, you know, we were just effectively running the football. And, and again, my hat goes off to those guys and what they did. Uh, we stayed balanced as much as we could, but I'm not going to go away from something that's working. And, sure. and we were being so effective in the run game, we stayed with it quite a bit. Well, the great thing is D'Angelo gets 262. That's a personal record for him. He broke what he had at Fresno last year at 252. And then Chad threw it when you needed him to effectively. The big pass to Hobbs, the, the uh, pull up where he had to pop the ball when he started to run. Mm -hmm. It's really a good mix, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And we really came into the game uh, really wanting to throw more than we did. Uh, but as we got into the flow of it and kind of seeing what they're doing, uh, you know, we kind of leaned on the run game because it was working at, at a pretty good rate. Um, but I was really pleased with us hitting some balls down the field, a couple of big third downs, the one late there uh, in the game that Chad hits Josh Stewart across the middle for big yards. That was a huge play in the game as well. And then, you know, defensively, the two turnovers late, 
you know, that, that's still the deal. Yep. Now, when we come back, we're going to talk about getting ready for the first real road trip. When I'm saying real, I mean getting on an airplane. Tulsa goes to Toledo. That's coming up next on the Philip Montgomery Show. Well, the Golden Hurricane winning 66-42 over Louisiana on Saturday. And in our feature segment, it's going to be an extended version of 60 Seconds With. We asked the players, what's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show? Uh, I like Family Family Feud, a lot of people say it's for old people, but Steve Hardy cracks me up. Favorite TV show, either Shameless or uh, Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> well, right now I'm watching the new um, Last Chance You. Season two is out right now. Last Chance You, yeah, it just came out with season two on Netflix. It's a pretty popular show. I, I fool with it too. I fool with it. I like Shameless because like it's just it's crazy. The show is funny, you know what I mean? I love I love being funny and being energetic and things like that. And Pretty Little Liars, just so much drama in it, so it kind of keeps me thinking like what's going on. There's some funny guys on that team, and I mean like they all come from different environments. Like same thing with me, you know, on the football team. Everybody come from different environments. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just good to see how they gel. Um. The characters, really. On season one, they had this one dude named uh, Ali. Um, he was a clown. If you go watch it, yeah, he, that's one of my favorite ones. Yeah, he, he a clown in there. Uh, I like watching cops. <laughs> pretty much sit at home all day on the couch after workouts. So I just kind of watch cops because it's pretty entertaining. I don't have time to watch TV. Favorite TV show is probably uh, <laughs> PJ Masks. Family Guy. It's the GOAT. It's funny and I watch it all day, every day. Me and Barrett watch it <laughs> before bed, so that's the only one I get to watch. Because uh, what he wants to watch is his favorite show. It's my son's favorite show. So. You got favorite character? Who you have? Peter Griffin. Shout out Peter Griffin. I can't do his laugh. I gotta do somebody else. Like I'll do. Yeah. Hey Peter. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, you got. Y'all definitely got to cut that. Well, you had a chance to see Willie Wright on 60 Seconds With, and he's one of the players from Houston that really instrumental in Tulsa's effort to help the relief of Hurricane Harvey, the victims there in the Houston area. Willie is from the Houston area, and as a result of all of the efforts by Willie and others, including the administration at the University of Tulsa, TU was able to raise over $55,000 for Harvey Hurricane Relief for the Houston area. So congratulations to everybody in the Tulsa area for that. In a moment, we'll be back with more on the Philip Montgomery Show. Welcome back to the Philip Montgomery Show. He's the head coach of the Golden Hurricane, Philip Montgomery. I'm Rick Corey. So as we said going in, you've got to get him on an airplane for the first time. With a young team, I know you've been on a bus. This is different. What do you do to get them ready? Well, I mean, we just got to treat it like a business trip. I mean, that's what it is. We're going up there to do a job. Uh, we got to be really mature about what we're doing and how we do it. And so Toledo's a good football team. Their quarterback, I understand, uh, uh, really, he could have probably came out last year. I mean, a guy that can really sling the football around. Uh, they got a receiver outside that's really special. I haven't got a chance to watch a lot of tape on them, uh, but I know they're playing well. So we'll have our hands full. It'll be a great test for them. Well, and the great thing about your guys is they are so businesslike that they don't generally overlook a team like this, which many teams will do. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're not we're not in the stage of being able to overlook anybody. I mean, we're going to have to line up and play and, and get after it every week. So uh, our guys will be ready to play and, and be locked in and, and – uh, a road win are always nice. Absolutely, yeah. That, okay, so win one's in the books. Let's hope he's smiling like this. Next week at Toledo, we'll see you there. 
Oh, that's right, guys. Yeah, the first extended road trip for the Golden Hurricane is coming up against Toledo. So it's important for the Hurricane to come back home with a 2 and one record. The next home date is September 23rd as TU takes on uh, New Mexico. And it's a special day. Get your tickets at 918-631-GO-TU uh, or TulsaHurricane.com. But also, it's the Walk to End Alzheimer's here at Tulsa. It's TulsaWalk.org if you want to get on the website and talk about that, that uh, Walk to End Alzheimer's, which is so important to Coach Montgomery and his wife, Ashley. So we will see you here on the 23rd. That wraps it up for the Philip Montgomery TV show. I'm Bruce Howard saying so long for now. The Philip Montgomery Show has been brought to you by St. Francis Health System. By River Spirit Casino. By Pepsi. And by Bill Knight Ford. The Philip Montgomery Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a Kane Vision production.